Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video here checking out some of the newest features on the latest Gravity Box update. Now, if you don't know what Gravity Box is, it's an exposed module and it's one of my favorite ones, probably my favorite exposed module. It's really awesome. It gives you loads of different features. So let's go ahead and check out some of these new ones. Okay, so the first new addition is the blur effect on the lock screen. Seems like kind of a simple idea, but it does have a pretty big impact. I've also got the background style set to last screen and that is again a new feature. So essentially the last screen you see before you hit the power button is what will be your lock screen and is what's going to be blurred behind it. So let's go back to the home screen. This is the screen that will be blurred. So let's go ahead and try this. And there you can see, I don't know how well that's coming through on the camera, but it does look pretty awesome that it's blurred in the background. So if we open up Tapper Talk, this is now going to be the last screen that we uh, can see before we hit the power button. So we'll test it out here. And yep, there you go, you can see it's blurred in the background. So kind of a small little thing there, but it's actually kind of nice and I do use it all the time. It's uh, it's one of those things that's you don't kind of miss it unless it's there and then you miss it. So yeah. The next new addition is the music tile in the quick settings. You can see I've already got it applied here and essentially this allows you to control and access your music from the quick settings. So you can see it, there it is. It's got the album art in the background. You can just hit play. It's going to start playing your music. You can hold it to skip song. You can close it out. You can see the Google Music at the top. Pause it. Google Music's gone. Play it. Whoops. Play it. So it's a really easy way to access your music. Pretty cool little thing there. Non-intrusive calling has also been added and you can see it keeps your incoming calls in the background during user interaction. So basically when you've got the screen on and you're using the device, if a call comes in, it's gonna go straight to the background instead of taking up your whole screen. I'm not sure if that's something you want considering when a call comes in, you actually probably wanna answer that because it is a phone at the end of the day. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and try this out. We'll uh, tick it and then we'll call myself. So the call's about to come in. You can see there it hasn't taken up the full screen. You can just access it from the notifications right here. So that's something you wanna do. So there you have it guys. Those are the biggest changes in this latest update to Gravity Box. Of course, there are some additional changes that I haven't mentioned. Those are in the changelog. You can find those in the exposed installer. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.